today we're going to be test fitting the R-Line spoiler and then also making some holes or one hole for the beasting. We're going to take this out, plug this and then fit the beasting at the back. We were also going to tackle the taillights today but plans have changed. We ended up picking up paint instead of the taillights. So yeah, that's the plan of action for today. We're going to strip down the entire car, um, test fit the spoiler and then also try to make a hole for the beasting. Let's get into it. So while my dad is busy disassembling the back, I'm going to start on the front. I'm going to take the grill, bumper, lights. Everything. I just got all the lights out, the front grill out, and my dad knocked off the back quite quickly as well. So I'm just gonna help him remove the bumper quickly. So another quick tip, if you don't own one of these, it's like um, a magnet where you can put screws and bolts on. Um, what you can do is save a couple of your can lids and then what we can, or what we usually use it for, also to store bolts, nuts, if you're disassembling something this size, just so that you can keep it all together. You can also maybe just put a piece of tape on it, marking where exactly you're working so just so you don't lose bolts and nuts when you're disassembling something so big quick update front bumper is off this side's almost stripped got this back door stripped completely and also we've got the back stripped i still need to do this i'll do this a bit later just gonna heat it up and then try and remove all these stickers easier and then also on the sides two hours later so it took about two two and a half hours to strip completely we're almost done um, I still need to take the stickers off and then we want to test fit the spoiler also what we're gonna do now firstly is um, try and align the beasting so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a tape measure and measure from one side to the other side of the roof and then obviously it should give us center. So what I try to explain is we're going to take a tape measure and measure from here to here. The soles we're going to use this as reference and then obviously whatever the measurement is half of that should give you center. Another way to just double check your work is you can use the, um, the keyhole for the boot that usually would be center so you know if you're on the money or not. We got what we think is center. Don't worry too much about how skewed this is. We just took a piece of tippics. We took some tippics and we made our mark over here so this is the mark that we're going to go for and we think that is center hopefully it is another thing that i want to mention is we haven't removed the roof lining so just be careful when you drill the hole through there that you don't go right through alternatively you can obviously drop the the lining while well, you're gonna have to drop it anyway to run the cable through to the front what is it yeah this is here. Yeah, you made this mark here. Yeah. That thing. Hold on. This one here. Yeah. That's me. Where's it going from? See? Ah, it's touching. I can't go with my foot. Good. Obviously it's not secure 
because we're going to take it off now and then obviously you have the gas spray and then put it in properly and run the wire through it's loose now but this we're going to put through from the bottom and then it will tighten it up and pull it all together and that's how it looks from afar I don't know why I just like a car to have a piecing on the back um, just give it a bit more sportier look I'm probably going to go to the smaller one eventually once everything is done and for now we just need to fit it but I will probably put this shorter stub in at the back if that makes sense so yeah um, next I'm going to take off these stickers over here and then we're going to test fit the spoiler so before we start this is where we currently at you can see stripped down completely all the windows are out as well we just have to get these taken out the front and the rear windscreen um, but we're gonna get someone to come and do that for us the part we struggled with the most was this piece this panel over here this rear window we struggled to get that out that was probably one of the hardest things and then this over here it wasn't the easiest to get out I'm hoping that I can find second hand or even new ones because we damaged this one removing it if you look over here it's a bit damaged so I would like to replace it I'm hoping that I can find a new set as well with the clips that fit in here so if you know where I can get that leave a comment down below what I'm gonna do now is, well first of all shout out to Wade for borrowing me the, the heat gun. I'm gonna use the heat gun and then apply heat to the sticker. Um, but you don't wanna apply too much heat because it could damage the paint. Luckily we're gonna paint the car so if you're not painting the car and you're trying to remove a sticker, don't let it get too hot or keep it too close to the paint. Also I'm gonna use a card, a how train card. Um, I'm going to use that once I feel that it can be peeled off. Also make sure that the surface of where you're working is clean. Because you don't want to scratch the paint if you're not respraying or doing the car over. It's just a tip that you can use if you want to. Just like that, uh, Chico the Clown has been removed. So it's fairly simple. Obviously, just need some heat to get it off. If you don't have a heat gun, you could also use a hair dryer. And then you want um, either a card or something just to get in there under the um, the sticker to pe start peeling it off. And then once you've got it all off to get rid of the residue, you can use some hot, lukewarm, soapy water and just give it a wipe off. And yeah, that's it. I'm gonna finish the rest of the stickers, the ones at the back. And then I think we're gonna tackle the spoiler. So if you look over here, um, the spoiler actually comes with these holes and those holes would line up somewhere around here but if you look where it would actually have to be drilled through it would be here somewhere and um, it could also lead to some leaks and possibly rust in the future so I decided that I'm not going to do it that way we're just going to use probably like Sikaflex and 3M tape to do that but Obviously only once the car is sprayed and also we have to um, color code the spoiler as well. So that is it for this week. Stay tuned. Next week hopefully the car will be sprayed or at least prepped. Um, we're getting another guy that will come out and help us. He's going to help us with all the spray work. He is a panel beater. So we just strip down and then obviously we'll probably be helping with prep as well 
So yeah, stay tuned. I'll see you next week. Peace. Yeah.